ba 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 da ba what's going on with Palestine and Israel? Ba da ba 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 da. Okay. I mentioned I mentioned uh, Abby Martin's documentary. I have not seen it yet. I have not seen Max Blumenthal's documentary either. And uh, let me preface by also saying I, I'm this is the the Palestine Israel conflict, uh, which I feel like even conflict is an under, understated thing to say. Um, that has been on a list of like what I want to talk about for a virtual show for quite some time. But at this point, like I want to talk about what's going on now um, and kind of break some of the, the shit that we're hearing from corporate mainstream media and, you know, those the, the kind of like the mainstream liberals and stuff. Uh, that's that's kind of what I'm planning on doing with this stream. But to go into like a deeper history uh, and to pinpoint, you know, how things got the way they are for Palestine and for Israel. I am planning on writing a show about that. There's a shit ton of research that needs to be done. I am by no means an expert in the uh, in the topic, but uh, I feel like you kind of don't need to be an expert when it comes to bombing the shit out of children. I feel like we can all agree that that's terrible. Uh, and uh, and if you don't agree that bombing the shit out of children is terrible, you, you there's a good chance you're a sociopath um, and should not uh, be around other humans or just like anything or like just don't be around organic life form because i don't know if we can trust you to be around organic life form um so just you know hang around like cabinets uh may maybe a pickup truck you know but hang around there lights i mean you could befriend a light in your head it could be like the fucking pixar light because you know um, so I wanted to, I wanted to kind of go a, a, a little bit of a brief history. You know, I, I've kind of immersed myself in in this topic for as much as I could for the last couple of days. Uh, and I heard Abby Martin on the Socialist Program, which is hosted by Brian Becker, uh, who who's also part of the Answer Coalition, uh, one of one of uh, the anti-war movements that we have in this country, which we need more of. So from from my understanding of listening to these podcasts and kind of getting as much information as humanly possible, this the the whole conflict and issue it starts uh, way back uh, with World War One. You guys remember World War One? You know that war uh, where a bunch of socialists came out and said that uh, we shouldn't take part in it because all wars uh, don't really give the working class uh, any any sort of rights or votes to go fight in rich people's wars. And then when Eugene Deb said that out loud in 1918, he was in prison for free speech. You guys remember that war? Uh, it's, it's a, it's top, top 10, you guys, top 10 wars of all human beings. It's, it's up there. You know, it makes the list. It, we, it, it gets the cut. You know, if we had a VH1 best wars, it would be, it would be included. It would be included. Uh, but, um, uh, Basically, what happened is the Ottoman Empire needed to be di divided. And who gets to divide the Ottoman Empire after after it was defeated? Uh, well, a bunch of white European countries decided that they were they knew what was best for this region that they destroyed. <laughs> and we're like, hey, how about we decide what the borders of some of these places are going to be for our benefit? Uh, so, again... You get to see, you know, countries like France and Germany and the UK and all these other uh, Anglo-Saxon white European capitalist countries dividing fucking brown countries up and and taking a stake for themselves. Right. So so they're basically occupying that for, for themselves, you know, like it would, it would kind of be like if you got into a fight with uh, with a bully, like let's say several bullies. Uh, and then they beat the shit out of you. And then they were like, what do we want to do with this person we beat up? And they're like, well, I like his legs. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that uh, for myself. Um, and then that's how a, a bunch of bullies became serial killers. And that's basically equivalent of what happened in, uh, with World War I. Uh, am I saying that some of these European countries are the equivalent, uh, national equivalents of serial killers? Yes, I am. Um, now, a bunch of these countries 
are backing up Israel right now. They they are the ones that are uh you know speaking up and saying, "Oh, look at the violence that Israel is facing with these things. So, oh, it's terrible. They're launching rockets." And not the cool Elon Musk kind of rockets, the the bad evil freedom killing rockets. In fact, they put they put a, a a thing in there that when it hits, it actually absorbs all of the freedoms and then it sends it back to terrorists. That's the kind of rockets that these people are using. Same countries that divided up the Ottoman Empire are now backing up Israel, right? I've had I've had a, a long standing theory, and and I don't know if I'm if I'm right or wrong. It's it's mostly a theory. Uh, I think most of these countries that are in the Middle East, UK, France, Germany, America, primarily America, mostly America, America is there, just in case anybody forgot, America is there. Um, all these countries partner up with um, with Israel. They fund and back Israel uh, because they need a fail safe in that region. When things implode, they need a military force that can basically bail them out of any any insane situation that they get out get get it get themselves into uh because i don't know if you guys have noticed every time that they topple a dictator something fucking worse comes out right like oh man we 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 toppled over fucking uh saddam hussein but uh oh isis came out of there ah man who could have seen that coming literally everybody that's read a history book literally everybody you created a power vacuum and a bunch of disenfranchised people guess what they're gonna do <laughs> like so anyway so let's fast forward out of world war one um and now there was a bunch of wars uh in the in the 40s 50s and 60s uh and uh, as, as that happened israel basically acquired a bunch of land right that's 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 kind of how palestine was reduced there's a there's a map um that is that is going around that kind of shows how Palestine was just sort of like decimated to this, you know, tiny little strip is what it became. And it's because of land acquisition through conflict, through war. Um, again, it, 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 it reminds me of what happened with Kashmir. Uh, and, uh, and if you haven't gone and checked out my Kashmir videos, they are available on my channels, except for one. Uh, the first part where I actually talk about the history of Kashmir was manually blocked all across the world uh, by one of the neoliberal papers in India. Uh, so I'm winning the Internet, you guys. Um, but uh, from the, the land acquisitions that Israel got was basically spoils of war um, or they just fucking took it. They like manifest destiny, the shit out of that land, and they and they took it, and now and and then they basically call they they basically started displacing the Palestinians. They started uh, calling for the extermination of these Palestinians, which is really fucking weird because anytime you criticize Israel, you you know everybody starts talking about uh, anti-Semitism, right? Oh, don't be an anti-Semite, don't criticize Israel, or you might be an anti-Semite. You know, the Nazis could possibly maybe would have criticized it i mean they didn't know that israel was a thing but they might have and if they did they would have been like bad bad israel and it's like do you really want to be like the nazis huh with the mustaches that's not really a full mustache is that what you want to be is that how you want to but what did the nazis do they were calling for the extermination for certain groups of people because they wanted the ubermensch right and this is what israelis are doing and if you Listen to Abby Martin. Um, Abby Martin talks about how when she was uh, in Israel and she talked to people in Israel, there is this visceral hatred for um, not Palestine, for Arabs, because they don't recognize Palestine as a real country. They don't recognize Palestinians as actual fucking people, which is crazy, especially considering the history that Jewish people have had to go through, you would figure that they wouldn't want to do that to another group of people. But here we are through decades of fucking propaganda. They're looking at Palestinians or quote Arabs, right? They call them Arabs. They don't call them Palestinians. Um, and they dehumanize them. And they don't look at them as, as actual people. And they hate them and they're fine with exterminating them completely fine with exterminating them which is so fucked <laughs> that's 
I mean, that's that's the contradiction, right? In in that philosophy where, you know, you're 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 looking at it, and you're going, you guys went through this shit. Why would you make another group of people go through it? Like, eye for an eye has never been, <laughs> has never been a, a a condition that's worked very well for people. You know, like that's why would you do that? So the term Zionism has been thrown around a lot. Um, and and again, what it kind of boils down to from from what I've read and what I've heard, and I've heard various different perspectives and various different um, thoughts and whatnot. Usually when people talk about Zionists, they talk about Zionism, they talk about Jewish supremacy. That's what a lot of people on the left, left uh, claim that it is. It's about Jewish supremacy. And if you pay attention to how Israel treats Palestinians, how Israel has continued to treat Palestinians, kind of makes sense, right? Like if you if you listen to what Zionists say, because I and I've and I've heard this too. I I, I had a, a friend of mine that, and we got into this discussion where um, he describes Zionism as the philosophy that just says that uh, 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 Jewish people are allowed to exist and a a Jewish state is allowed to exist. Now, if that's as far as it went, right, it, it, you know, it, that that doesn't seem d fucking deplorable. Like, it doesn't seem awful. It's not great. Any Anything where you're just like, this is just for us, okay? If you're not going to, you know, pray to Yahweh and read the Old Testament and all that kind of stuff, well, then, you know, we'll welcome you as tourists, but you better see your way out of here. In two weeks, fella, when's that return ticket? You know, like that's that's still pretty terrible. But again, these Zionists, they they it, it, that's not where it stops, right? And no one is even saying that Israel doesn't have the right to exist, or and no one's really even saying the Jewish people don't have the right to exist. What a crazy fucking thing to say. You know what happened the last time somebody said that shit? There was a huge war, the second world war, another one that's in the top ten, you guys. That one makes it to to top ten. Some people put it as number one. Some people put it as the number the best war that anybody's ever fought. World War Two, like VH1 would definitely put that at the top of the list. You know, that's not that's not a number seven. They're not burying that shit. They're waiting for the commercial break to get over and boom, last twelve minutes of the program. World War Two dedicated to it. That's what happened the last time somebody said Jewish people don't have the right to exist, which is not even what a, what a lot of people are saying in this situation, right? We're like, yeah, it, we don't we want you guys to exist. We just don't want you to bomb the shit out of children. Is that cool? Can you guys like not do that? And Israel's like, I don't know. That's you're asking a lot there, fella. But it becomes this notion of of Jewish supremacy, right? Um and and if it and if it was if it was just about the right to exist, the counter to that is that yes, they they believe that Jewish people have a right to exist, but Palestinians don't. That's the other side of Zionism. The other side of Zionism is they don't want Palestinians to exist. They want the extermination of the uh, of their culture. So all in all, like Zionists are fucking terrible. Like you should not like the fact that Joe Biden calls himself a like was proudly saying he was a fucking Zionist is fucking insane to me. Why would you want to say something like that? Especially if you're touting yourself as this good moral person. Why would you want to line yourself up with a philosophy that says, yes, we believe in the existence of one people only if it uh, if it means that the existence of another group of people is gone? That's so crazy. But, you know, again, the, the, what they're basing this off of is a biblical right. That's that's what they're talking about. They're, ta they're, they're saying that, uh, you know, Jewish people are, are, are the only people that have stake to this land because the Bible dictates it so. The Bible says that it is. And I haven't read the Old Testament, so I can't say whether it does or doesn't. But I doubt it. I doubt it's like, hey, this piece of land, that all, it's all the Jews. They're, they're my people. Everybody else can go fuck themselves. It's a big planet. Get out there. Explore the world. Why don't you? Like, I don't think. I don't know if that specifically is in there. But here's the. Here's the crazy thing, right? They they claim that it's this religious right to the land. It's this religious right to the land. But they claim that they're a democracy. 
but if if you're claiming religion is what is allowing people to stay on that land and and what gives them rights and what gives them their humanity in this situation i guess because they think palestinians are less than human um you know that's not a democracy that is a theocracy that's effectively what you're trying to create you're trying to create a jewish only state they you, they can make the argument no we're not we we accept people of all uh religions and creeds and when you go well what about palestinian muslims what about the what about the palestinian christians what about you know what about the jewish people that that are pro palestinian do you accept them into your land will you let them live in your country because the answer is likely no which means that you want a specific jewish state and that's it it's very similar to what the bjp wants in india they want a purely hindu country which is a theocracy that's not a democracy it's also not what the what, what these countries were initially founded on right they were founded on some kind of a democracy but this is not that and you could say oh well you know if they still vote they're still voting for their leader yeah but what right do palestinians have to vote where are they making the decisions on this shit and when it comes down to it in india what if you're a muslim and they go to the polls and they go nah nah or even if you look vaguely Muslim, or you look vaguely Kashmiri, and they say, "Nah, you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to vote, you're not allowed to exercise your rights, because you don't fit, you know, you don't pray to the same God that I do." Which again, you know, is 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 a is a great way that human beings fuck all this shit up. Is like you you somebody fucking laid out the foundations of how to be a decent human being. And you were just like, what if I use this to manipulate borders and, and genocide a bunch of people? Seems fun to me. Like, no, you fucked it up. You fucked it up, and you should not be allowed to practice any of these religions. But it is. There, there, are, there, there are a lot of similarities between Palestine and Kashmir. I'm sure, I'm sure people that have looked into both, uh, 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 both countries, both, both nations will, will, will show you that, right? Uh, both countries have lost their autonomy and aren't recognized by the governments. Um, you know, the, with, with Kashmir, it started, in, well, I, I mean, Kashmir's autonomy has always been in a gray area because of article three 70, uh, I think is the number three seventy in article 35, a, which basically said that India, you know, is here to help, um help them with with uh defense and communication things of that sort revoked that in 2019 and has basically been under a military occupation um and again uh very similar to palestine which has been on, in an apartheid state uh, uh under israel for uh for so long it's an open air prison and um, kashmir is heading in that direction i wouldn't be surprised in five years if the state of kashmir is very similar to the state of palestine right uh, they're not really recognized india wants kashmir to be a part of its a part of it, it, its own country but kashmir wants to be free they don't want to be with pakistan they don't want to be with india they want to be their own autonomous region and the only reason why they weren't able to get autonomy is because they were constantly fucked with they were fucked with by by uh by the pakistanis when they when they launched in uh, a raid to try to force kashmir to 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 join um Pakistan they were trying to annex Kashmir and the Brits were all for it uh and uh and then they were constantly fucked with by India too right like cuz India would send troops up there cuz oh man terrorists are up there and we got to stop them so this constant back and forth like they they just kept fighting nonstop for 70 years tore up the land and they didn't give a shit about the people that lived there very similar to Palestine again it's theocracy there what they want is a, uh, a a demographic shift, and they will do whatever it takes to shift that demographic. And India wants to do that in Kashmir, make it all Hindu. Israel wants it to be a fully Jewish state. Which, and it's like, that's, I don't think that's the tenets of any of these fucking religions. Hinduism is all about acceptance. <laughs> like... 
and and you're and you're ostracizing people you know like i've met plenty of jewish people i've met i've met practicing and and non-practicing jewish people and like they're very loving and accepting because of their faith because of their ethnicity wherein it does it say that you only have to be a jew in order to hang out with other jews like that's not a thing if it is that's old school and shouldn't we evolve the fucking religion at that point and thirdly, um, they're both funded by uh, the United States. India is starting to be funded by the United States. In fact, uh, India is trying to stop, or, I'm sorry, the United States is trying to stop India from purchasing weapons from Russia. They want weapons to be bought from the United States. Uh, and we, I mean, the United States has been funding Israel forever. What did Joe Biden say in that clip that's been going around viral? If there wasn't an Israel, we would create an Israel. Like, again, it just it, that that's why I, I hear shit like that. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is a fail safe plan. You need you need some an ally close to the close to your war zone. So if shit really goes down, boom, the IDF can back you up. It's a fail safe plan. All right, I'm going to look at some of your comments before we move to the second segment. Uh, you guys went full ham on the <laughs> on the comments. I love it. Uh, Alicia says, uh, holding a gun to your prisoner's head and asking for understanding around your conflict. Yeah, it's exact, it, it, that's, that's exactly kind of what it is. <laughs> Holly, thanks for, thanks for hanging out. Good to see you. Uh, let me see. These are the numbers. 200 Palestinian killed, 61 children. Uh, <laughs> Dinner with Franklin says, I heard Hamas is responsible for darkness and Ben Affleck movies. I knew it. I knew it. Fucking knew it. Those bastards. They were probably responsible for Batfleck. And they were responsible for why Zack Snyder did a terrible job with Justice League. I fucking knew it. I knew it. Yeah, our intelligence can certainly not. Yeah, our intelligence communities don't have anything to do with uh, with what's going on in the in the Middle East. No, they're they're good people. <laughs> they're dealing with Frank. There's no forgiving for those movies. I'm afraid. Yes. <laughs> um, Holly says sixty seven war was a big land grab. Yeah, that that one. Um, I think Abby Martin specifically talks about that one as being sort of the the one where they just kind of took. A bunch of land like the idf just took a bunch of land uh cg says uh they reduced people to vermin they did uh that's kind of the way that discrimination works that's kind of the way that racism works is you you look at these people as less than human uh and that's uh that's that's what they do uh <laughs> she also says world war ii number one with the bullet so many bullets it was number one with so many bullets Holly says Israel surrounded Gaza and anyone who tried to leave would be shot. Yeah, that's the other thing is like they can't go anywhere. So you're just kind of rounding them up to to exterminate. Like they're, if you if you just look at the way that 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 um, Gaza surrounded, like wh where are they going to go? What are they trying to do? I mean, most of these people have rocks and you're and they're 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 fielding sniper fire. Like, wh how do you not how do you not sympathize with these people? And how do you sit there and go, yeah, but there was that rocket, though. Justified, like how do you like you can't you can't do that. It's there there is there is no justification for what Israel is doing uh, to Palestine at this point. There are Palestinian Jews, uh, Israeli Arabs, uh, also pal yeah Palestinians, yeah. So I mean, there are there are. Palestinian Jews, there's Palestinian Christians, and there's Palestinian Muslims. Uh, but they all, but they all refer to them as Arabs because they don't want to look at them as different. You know, they they don't want to look at them as their own people, um, especially the Jews. They they don't they disregard the Palestinian Jews all day long. They just pretend like they're not there. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. good to see everybody in the stream here. Let me look over to the Rockfin. Uh, Fred, good to see you. Uh, can we make better noodles? Uh, just one topic. You're, you're really hoping for the noodle topic, Fred. It is unfortunately not. Uh, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that, Fred. Um, Fred says, I believe Israel's existence is illegal. The UK gave away occupied land. 
they, uh, the same thing with what happened with Kashmir is there there's a portion of Kashmir that was basically funded by um uh the Brits to 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 be acquired by Pakistan that's the POJK um so I I have heard this argument before is is that you know Israel's uh existence is um is illegal because of of the UK occupied land but let's say that it's not hypothetically let's say that it's not why can't palestinians also live in that land right like why do you need to evict people out of their homes why do you need to why do you need to 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 do this massive land grab especially if if the whole culture surrounding your people is that you you've been uh, nomadic and enslaved and beaten down why would you want to fucking do that to another group of people Right. Even even if somebody says, oh, well, you know, even though it was uh, the UK gave that land away and it's occupied territory. uh, Why? Why do the same thing that oppressors have done to you to other people? It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, According to the book, after the Messiah. After the Messiah returns, God will grant the Jews a homeland, not before. So we got to wait for this fucking second coming. Ridiculous. I say fuck the second coming and uh, and just fucking chill out. You know, that's what needs to happen. Uh, Search Rabbi Yaakov Yaakov Shapiro, who is staunchly against Israel because the establishment violates the Torah. Okay, I will have to look that individual up. Oh, Aram, here's the line. The line just attributed to Biden, if there were no Israel, we'd have to invent one, is similar to a William F. Buckley line, something like, if there was not a wealthy class, we'd create one, just to get an idea of what Biden is signaling signaling to. Oh, absolutely. That was very much much to donors. Yeah, 100%, 100%. That was very much to the donors. Like, that was very much to like weapons contractors, the Israel lobby, like that's who it was fucking to, um, you know, like, oh, we will. And it was also just it was it was it was him saying, look, we will create something that will bail us out if shit goes tits up in the Middle East. If we can't acquire the resources we want to acquire, then we will make up a fucking country, d- displace and massacre a whole bunch of people to make sure that we have our fail safe. That's, that's kind of what I saw that statement as. So Aram, you're, you're, you're spot on on that one. You're spot on on that one. Oh, I think I left, I left Holly's comment up the whole time. I did not mean to do that, Holly. That's my mistake there. Um, uh, Cynical girl says we'd like to, we'd, we'd have to create one like Satan. (laughs) Yes, exactly. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and please make sure you share this content out. Sharing is very important. Sharing is how independent media gets the word out there about topics that corporate media doesn't even want to mention on their networks. So it's really up to you guys. Corporate media very much depends on the people. We are people powered media. That's what we really are. Uh, Another great way to help if you're on stable financial ground is to uh, make a financial contribution to this channel. And you can do so over at krishmohanhaha.com slash donate. You can become a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets, early access to videos, bonus stand-up comedy and storytelling content, uh, a way for you to communicate directly with me, ask me questions, and other uh, premium content that uh, will be released on a monthly basis. Um, or you can make a one-time donation as well on that same website. Um, I also have uh, various stand-up comedy albums. I have about six comedy albums out right now uh, that are available on my website at krishmohanhaha.com. And most of them, if you get them off of Bandcamp, are available for a dollar or a, a pay-what-you-want pricing. And I also want to mention that I do have an online merch store. Uh, you can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com, click on the merch tab, and check out all of the designs that I've made myself. And the Julian Assange shirt, there is a Julian Assange shirt that's on the website. All the profit from the Julian Assange designs will be going to uh, pro-Assange activists, such as Action for Assange, uh, Kevin Gastola, Richard Methurst, folks uh, 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 that, that are covering and talking about Assange. So I'm going to be making donations to them um, uh, it'll be 100% of the profits I make off of that shirt. 
Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you again to all the people that have made contributions to the show, that regularly check out my content, that have subscribed to my channels. I, I very, very much appreciate it, and uh, and you guys help keep this uh, keep keep this this train a moving. So I, I very much appreciate that. Until the next video, we'll see you on the road. See you guys.